custom database applications programmed by Ken Dawson. Built on leading edge PHP, MySQL frameworks. Custom user management system. The Southeast Health District of Georgia was in need of a custom user management system for the staff and users of the complex network of information that makes up their website. Ken Dawson was hired to create this application for them. Using leading edge PHP, MySQL and frameworks, a management system was created to handle all aspects of registration, approval, notifications, document sharing, and user self-management. A user logs in at the front end, and is then able to access the members only section. Signing up for a new account is as simple as filling out the online form. Specific details are gathered from the user, and the form adjusts dynamically, adding and removing relative fields as needed. Once an email address and password are entered, the applicant is requested to fill in the capture values. This is a system intended to distinguish human from machine input, typically as a way of thwarting spam and automated extraction of data from websites. CAPTCHA is an acronym for Completely Automated Public Turing Test to tell computers and humans apart. As you can see, the form is also capable of handling errors and helping the subscriber notice which fields may have been left empty. Upon successful completion of the form, a message is displayed to the applicant, instructing them to check their email to complete their part of the sign-up process. Once the subscriber has followed the one-of-a-kind encrypted link that was sent to their email, they receive a verification message, instructing them to wait for a human to verify their registration. Because the client wanted a human involved in the membership approval process, the subscriber, in this case, will now wait for an admin to review their request for registration. Now, the system sends a message to an admin, notifying the admin that a verification requires their review. The application has waited to receive the verification from the subscriber's email before notifying the admin. No need to alert the admin until the subscriber's email address has been properly verified. Once the admin receives notice, they can log in to review all subscriber requests in one convenient list. The admin can browse requests and immediately approve and delete requests directly from the list. or view the details of the requests. After review, the admin can delete, approve, or simply close the details. Conveniently, the system allows the admin to take actions in either the applicant details view or the registration requests list view. Once a user's membership is approved, that user can then manage their own details anytime they like. A user, when logged in, can simply change their password at any time. Or, if the user cannot remember their password, they can make a request to have the system reset their password. The application handles this process without any assistance from a human being. For security purposes, when requesting a password reset, the system sends an encrypted link to the user, requesting the user to follow that link as a means of verification. The system security ensures that only those who signed up with that specific email address are able to respond to requests for changes. The application is aware of current requests for password reset. Logically, and autonomously, the application prevents users from sending multiple requests. Once a password request has been made, the user can respond to the email that the application sent them by following the encrypted, one-of-a-kind link. The system checks the validation code against encrypted values stored in the database and completes the password reset for the user. The admin 
also has a registered users view. Members' details can be viewed and edited by the admin. As you can see, to maintain the security structure, only the system is able to change usernames and passwords, utilizing the verification method, seen earlier. For this application, the client requested filtering by contact group, last name, country or city. These criteria can be used individually or together to filter very specifically. Email messages can be sent out to the entire member list or to the filtered results only. Email attachments are available. And multiple files can be uploaded and sent with the email. This concludes the video demonstration of the Custom User Management System, programmed by Ken Dawson. Should you wish to try this application, or any other of Ken's custom database applications, or if you have any questions, please feel free to contact Ken anytime at info at kendawson.ca. Thank you for watching.